Hi and welcome to Integrated Awakenings. It's me, Maria, and today we are doing energetic frequencies and malleability. What the hell is that? (laughs) So basically, I'll take you through a few journeys to really model for you how energy frequency can be traveled into, explored, expanded, heightened, the potency, and the different shades variations, frequencies you could explore, like different energy dimensions. Now, I feel like I've already touched on these in some of the podcast episodes, but I didn't give it in a journey format, so maybe you can't, unless you're very adept or very sensitive, you can't pick it up. So I do want to give this episode formatted like this for y'all's convenience. If you haven't, if you can't hear those subtle differences and i do want to be more uh intentional with guiding you into it okay a few caveats though uh part of my energetic frequency as a blueprint like a soul blueprint is i'm like a shapeshifter so i do change forms a lot i've had a lot of downloads where they make me like classical shaman change into a bird change into a fox change into a jaguar that kind of stuff so when I do a lot of intuitive, spiritual, energetic work, I see how I use three words at one time. It's, <laughs> it's like very natural in my energy to keep changing or to keep being very mutable and very flexible so that I have the opportunity to hit exactly what you need because I can shift into it. Yeah. So some people, some healers, some guides, some uh, enlightened, ascended folks hold one signature. Yeah. Example, divine mother energy. Holy Mary, she's she's just one thing. She doesn't shift a lot. She's always this pure white encompassing light. Amara Strand is always this like strand of laser light quality, focus, consciousness, alive. Bang. She's always like a thread like a laser thread. She doesn't change as much because that laser is already everything. So I'm not saying anything's like better or worse. I'm just saying stuff has its pros and cons. Yeah. So the pros of this is that when I do one-on-one sessions, I could uh, channel exactly, like I can even copy the cadence of how your guides talk so that you could really hear like your innate energetic blueprint, right? The cons, though, is that when I do group sessions like these, I might cast my net a little too widely, and I might shift too often that some people are going to have a hard time following. (laughs) Yeah? Yeah? So if if your blueprint, if your soul doesn't like shifting a lot, you might have a hard time following. That's what I'm saying. So uh, for those folks, because I really don't want you guys to feel left out. For those folks, anytime I say something that doesn't land for you, just skip it. Yeah, just just ignore what I said and just stay with the last thing that resonated. Yeah, last image, last state that resonated. You don't have to get everything if it doesn't land for you. It's just not for you. It's fine. Yeah, and I really do feel strongly about really mentioning this for this episode because I'm going to show you range. Yeah, I'm going to show you depths and I'm going to show you dimensions. I'm going to, it's like, I'm going to bring you to a buffet and I'm going to point to you all these kinds of cuisines. (laughs) And if you're like, oh, I don't like seafood, that's fine, right? You could stay in the Chinese area or something. (laughs) You, you You could totally do that. It's fine. So... Um, I'm just offering the whole range because I do want to make people who feel more attracted to specific kinds of energy feel seen and feel validated as that being uh, something that's divine and something that's part of healing work. Okay, I have a kavit number two and I hope you all be patient with me before I get into the journeys, but... Kavit number two is that I do deeply believe that you ought to prioritize what is the highest and best for you. 
I know that some people have seen this with tarot readings, maybe have heard this, but don't really understand what do they mean by highest good of all? What do they mean highest and best, right? Okay, basically, think of it like this. You went to like a spa or like a holistic doctor. They analyze you and be like, oh, you're nutrient deficient with C. Uh, your muscles are tight. You need physiotherapy with your shoulders. And we're going to give you exactly that. So imagine if everything is customized and tailor fit to a T and of the highest and best quality. That's what I mean by highest and best. It's exactly what you need, right? So a lot of folks, when they're meditating and where they're communing, when they're like trying to welcome, receive new energies, they're like, I don't know what I need. I'm like, just order top shelf. <laughs> order the top shelf that is smarter than you, that knows your needs more than you. And then just be humble enough to be you know, to receive that. So for example, when you go to this really competent doctor, of course you can't tell what's fucked up in your system. You are yielding, surrendering yourself to that wisdom body that knows better than you. Do you see what I'm saying? So when I say or when I prompt things like I am open to receiving uh, what is best and highest for me, or for example, I go back to my original source energy, there is this yielding to like a higher wisdom, greater, wholer wisdom. Yeah, yeah. So I, I do want people to be more specific. Because unless you... So, so this is kind of like ordering online. <laughs> yeah. Unless you order the top class, the top class can't come to you. So the reason why I am explaining this to you is because I need you to have a good grasp of this concept so that you permit this concept to enter your system. Yeah. So unless you have the idea of like this ever so perfect, omniscient, perfect doctor, right, who's going to fix you up energetically, it's not going to come into your space. You, you need... To order it on the menu. You need to like put it like buy on cart. Yeah, that's the whole manner. The reason, okay, the thing with three-dimensional plane human beings, which is pro possibly the people listening to this, right? The thing with you being incarnate is that the whole st stitch of you having free will means you saying yes and no to stuff is really powerful. Yeah. So a lot of the beings that really want to help you, if you don't ask, they cannot come in. And boy, they're like really frustrated. <laughs> like, like I, can, I can really vouch for they're fucking frustrated because it's like, if you don't say yes, they can do nothing. Yeah. And that's why when I'm saying, okay, okay, just has, ask for the highest and best and then just let it happen. You need to say yes. See what I'm saying? You need to give them a gate pass so they can come in. Yeah, that's like very, you are a very holy conscious permission slip. <laughs> but they can't come in if you don't say yes. Okay, yeah. So in these journeys that I'm about to demo for you, the thing I need from you is your yes. You see what I'm saying? So all of the things that I will explore for you here has the potency that you are saying yes to as well. So if you're ready to like go all the way, this thing will let you go all the way. But if you're like, uh, maybe just give me like a 10 peso, <laughs> like a $10 version. That's what you're going to get. That's how potent your conscious free will is. Yeah? So, I guess what I'm asking for you for this episode is that I do encourage you to bet high. <laughs> I do encourage you to kind of fling yourself into this. Because why not? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. So okay, you can multitask this while you're at work or like if you're driving and whatever. But if you're very intent with like jumping into this, I'm gonna be like, yay. <laughs> okay. So okay, let's let's start. Okay, the first thing, and this is gonna be really simple. First one I'm going to do is your original energetic signature and to the highest potency of it. The second one I'm going to do is excavations, any purging and transitions that already need to happen that you're having a hard time transitioning. This is because a lot of people request for things but don't uh, have the capacity to kill the blocks that are blocking those things you're asking for right right because we because we like birth beginning energies we we don't really like death and goodbye right so i'm gonna help you tap into that death extinguisher excavator energy yeah okay and then the last one's gonna be like a big big exploration for your heart transformer energy i'll also end with a bit of shielding yeah guard energies now i know some people don't feel strongly about guards because they feel like it's just a way to create limitations right to create separation from other people but there's like a difference between uh separation and discernment right so you don't give pearls to pigs you don't put really expensive diamonds in places where there's like snatchers and people who will steal it and like disrespect it. And in the same way that when you do access these certain beautiful energetic forms, you will be taught how to properly uh, hold them, guard them, have them responsibly. Yeah. So that's a Tagalog term for like eyes get hungry when they see it. So when you access certain specific frequencies of divinity and light you will you will be some yeah so by the end of this thing i'm gonna demo a bit of how to call forth those kinds of wall energies and yeah okay okay Okay, let's start. So find yourself in a comfortable position. What is the best way that you often feel and dip into these states? So is it lying down? Is it sitting down? Is it leaning a little bit? Is it stretching for some time? Is it rolling your shoulders? Is it inducing yourself some really deep yawns? Is it like imagining shaking off a really, really heavy shirt or like dropping like dead heavy stones like like a sack that's being dropped on the floor like what is really ask yourself what is the image slash what is the sensations that really lets you just blah lets you really fall apart and really sink like sand into a deep state of relaxation and i do want you to do that and when you find that your physical body is already in that perfect position, I want you to command and ask every external senses of yours to shut down. To almost like a dais or a dial, you feel it twisting 360 degrees, fully off. And as it's turning off, you feel all your senses that are trained inwards turn slowly on. And as they all turn on, maybe they focus onto a center light in your body. And allow this to be your light of awareness slash consciousness. And I want you to feel for, in this internal space, a really small gap. A really small gap that is a gate and a portal to your original energy. 
It could be a little mouse hole. It could be like a little jacket flap. It could be a little door. It could just be a hole. And I want you to put your whole body energy consciousness through there, kind of like threading a needle. And I want you to bring all of yourself through that little hole. And almost like a stone falling into an ocean of pure energy, of your original energy, I want you to sink into it. Notice how your internal image of your body changes. Is it lighter? Is it brighter? Is it bluer? Is it a different color? Almost like as you're breathing in and as you're breathing out, really allow yourself to almost inhale, ingest, slash almost be steeped. Yeah, like you're like you're a cloth that's ingesting that water and being fully, fully damp. Fully the highest kind of absorption that you could do. And just notice what this juicy fullness really feels like. Your original energy. There's more. You see in the distance, maybe not too far, another small hole. This time it's white. And I want you to just imagine your whole internal energy. Like you can see your body, right? Like your smaller, your little vision body. I want you to like put your vision body leg through that hole, then your other leg, then your hips, and then you slip through with your whole body. And it's almost like you're going down the ocean and there's just more silence, more upper surface stuff that's just melting up and away. And you feel your cells, your ligaments, your limbs, your bones, really absorb your true energetic state. Remember your true energetic state, your DNA all restructuring, receiving your full energetic true state. Fall again, fall through another hole. It's in the core of your DNA, the core of your remembrance, the core of your spine. Almost like an arrow, so sure, It falls and follows, and you slip through that hole. And you are surrounded by more potent version of your original energy. It almost sings with gravity, heat, and vibration. And it permeates you like hot charcoal grills, trying to heat up soup or meat. You feel yourself changing as this energy remembers you. How it made you, how it is you. And just feel this grill burn your whole spine, every disc, every space between discs, the soft sponge in between discs. And if the vision changes of how your body looks like, allow that to shift as well. Are you bigger? Are you smaller? Is the shape of your body different? That's okay. Whatever feels more natural to your vision, whatever feels like, yes, this is true. And then just allow yourself to fall into that truth, that sensation. Amplify that sensation that you feel in your spine. What if this is true for a hundred years across a hundred lifetimes? And every say every time I do say a number, I permit and allow it to across to happen across every dimension layer version. And just feel like your spine is being played like a chord string and that this recognition of truth is being echoed out like a fractal towards everything 
and every version. If you feel like you shift with every number in, tam- in terms of shape, body position, or color, allow that to happen. If the number doesn't change your shape, that is also okay. Allow the number to be like counting breath, like counting clouds and counting stars. That is fine as well. However, remain curious, open, and receptive to how it feels like to shoot your own energy across every direction. Yeah, we'll get into it. 100, 2, 3, 4. Feel me flick that little cord of you and send it towards every direction. All of these versions of you happily receiving what you are giving. 5, 6, 7. If you feel any tension towards not being able to do this, I just fully release that. 8. Just relax into it and drop further. 9. 10. Every direction, almost like with more finesse and nuance. Almost like with more density and more interstitching. 11, 12, 13, 14. Relax, relax. 15, 16, 17. 18. If you feel like you're traveling too far and you're like, "Mm, I'm a few leagues back, like that is my yummy comfort Goldilocks zone where I do feel the most potent and the most me, just stay there. That's fine. 19, 20, 21. Maybe instead of imagining shooting out, Imagine the fractals shooting in, almost like every cell is its own universe, shooting inwards, like it's imploding within itself, like fireworks, but the other way, going in instead of out, 22, 23, very good, you're doing good, you're doing great, 24, 25, 26. If you fall asleep or you feel like you're not exactly following, just be open to receiving the energies. It's okay. For some folks, you'll be still aware. 27. 28. 29. I can feel some folks already being a little bit uncomfortable. Just breathe. 29. 30. 31, 32, trust that every energy sent knows its own direction and that you don't need to control everything. 34, 35, I allow each version, energy, dimension of me to come home in its perfect place and timing, yes. 37, 38, 39, I allow myself to receive all of myself. 40, 45, 50, and then maybe imagine the speed of things kind of slowing down, kind of like these waveforms having smaller, more gentler waves. Yeah? 60, 65, almost like it's trying to wrap up. Almost like when you're creating a tapestry and you're trying to do the finishing edging knots. 70. Trying to see where the bits and pieces that are, you know, a little lacking or bald or needs a little bit more attention. 
like these general sweeps of finishing. 80, 85, 90, all of yourself whole, full, and complete, comfortable, 95, 100, good job, I'll give you a bit of silence, just notice, So the next thing we'll do is burning, excavation, and release. Now for a lot of folks, you're going to be a little bit relying on the structure of this audio to help you open all of the emotional thought form karmic gunk fuck, yeah? You're, you're depending on this energy to open all of these things, right? So just trust it. Trust what we are excavating. Don't feel the need to interpret it. And don't be scared if you feel like this is the first time that you see this energetic frequency of destruction. It doesn't mean you harm. Your true original soul does not die. And thus, anything that we are going to let die right now is already ready to die and is supposed to die. So, because of what I said in the start of the podcast, notice how different this frequency of destruction is versus your original blueprint. Okay, let's go. Look for an energy in your body space. I feel like it's for most of y'all, it's going to be around your legs. That is that of a turning point. Where in your body do you feel the most change and transition is possible like a sunset? Like the stark difference of night and day and day and night that flip of ultimate illumination and ultimate darkness. That little page flip and turn. Where does that turning feel more potent? And like that page turn, like that tab, like that light switch on off, I want you to find that little tab that you're going to flick. And I want you to go into it. Again, your entire energy form entering through that little flick. Enter into it as with much commitment as you can. Fully, entirely, absolutely, you are there. And with the grace and humility and gratitude and acknowledgement of all beings that are assisting this transition... We allow every version dimension, space that is available now to be surrendered into light or into void. The light is a little bit above you, the void down you, and then just see all of these energies exiting your body either being magnetized towards the light or the void and if you feel like your little energy body is kind of like vomiting scratching peeling almost like being cut open and just almost like crying melting like a volcano that's like erupting and then shedding and then tower destruction crumbling devastation allow it to happen trust how your heart rends itself larger 
And anything that does not service your heart to just break. I would like to up the potency to 200, 300. And if you could do me a favor, I want you to go into the hole of the void. Almost like you're going to the mouth of an incinerator. Anything that is not of your highest and best and does not lo- no longer serve you, allow to sur- render. Anything that's sealed within your cells, ligaments, bones, blood, energies, waters, forms, surrendered into the void. Almost like you're tunneling down deeper into a darker pulse of gravity. Any implants, versions, lies, formations, attachments, false identities, tensions, denials, anxieties, very dumb excuses surrendered into the void for its ultimate and final death. Again, like falling down deeper into the ocean, go down to a deeper dimension of this void. Allow your whole internal energy body to relax. Almost like you're being like an inflated balloon and there's just more space in between everything, right? And thus, you're less dense and thus, it's a little bit easier to wade through stuff. Because it just flows through you. And, you know, just like a car that's been picked apart, it's kind of easier to clean now because there's more space. Deeper, 900, 10, 11, allow all cleaning of parts, dimensions, versions to be automatic, complete, of the best intensity of the highest good. 11, 12, 13, 14, imagine the depth and potency and direction to be rippled to every version willing to receive this kind of transition. 16, 17, 18. Maybe you see the face of an ally, your destructive ally. Maybe it's the maw mouth of a dragon. Maybe it's like a little garbage incinerator. Maybe it's a knife. Maybe it's a burning pyre. Luminous and old, old. Would you walk on its flames? Would you put your head in its jaw? Can you walk into it knowing fully, trusting fully that it is your friend? 15, 16, you have all the time in the world to offer your heart to this friend and offer everything that you have such a hard time giving up to this friend. They will yank it out for you. They will destroy for you. 22, 23, 24. And allow them to get inside of you. Trust their integrity, their wisdom, and their forms to wipe all programs. that no longer serve cash wipe versions of the past clinging to the word 
past versions of the word future excess worry towards this construct called future 71 50 60 71 if the burning or the void feels like it's churning within you maybe it's like a red glow or a black glow maybe it's really really warm right now allow it to just breathe in and breathe out allow this color to shift to change into this cold blue texture almost like an old wise star almost like the flame is wiser the destruction is wiser fuller nature calmer doesn't have any of that teenage excess and fall into this like deep white blue light fire door 90 91 allow it to permeate try to feel into your physical body <laughs> or maybe imagine your physical body and then just see this blue fire purge every cell nature 93 94 95 as i'm counting allow it to ripple out or ripple in again trusting the process as well 97 98 99 and then at the hundred Allow yourself to imagine like a really big burp or vomit or just choke out something that is just like the cherry on top slash period slash dot finish of this excavation process. We have an earth that which is the pit of what must be eliminated. Again, no need to process, no need to analyze, just surrendering, succumbing to this process of destruction with full respect. For people who need a bit of a break, and I do feel like that is going to be most people, I'll help you step out of this state. So in a count of 10, imagine like 10 really shallow steps and a door to your physical body form. And then as I'm counting up, trust that you could always come back to wherever we went to and that it fully integrates into your linear body form. Okay, let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, go back to your physical body and then I need you to maybe flicker your fingers your hips, your waist, your neck a little bit, and then gently flicker your eyes open, and then maybe possibly drink water. You could nibble a little bit of food. You could. Because some people do get hungry after the incinerator. Okay, so for folks who are like, wow, I've never, <laughs> never accessed that kind of depth. That's what I usually mean by I need you to go deeper slash with more intensity slash with more omnidirectionality now i understand that not everybody is familiar or does a lot of multi-dimensional work but if you did listen to my previous episodes you do understand why i do encourage it and the way i do these meditations already gives you uh permission slips and access to do this kind of work with much more ease. Yeah? So the thing is, people are portals. <laughs> 
people are initiations. People are like race. So the thing is, I I look like a fractal. <laughs> so it's easier for you to access your fractal reality of your lifetimes as you're meditating with me. Okay, so do trust that you can access those things. And the reason why I rev up the potency is because sometimes, you know how you like when you're cleaning a bathroom and it's like the pressure of your hose is like a one and it can't move, it takes some time. And then if you just ranked it up like to a six or a 10, anything will just happen faster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then those realities... Uh, time is really fluid, foldable. So I really feel like a lot of folks don't train the muscle of like upping that intensity up. Yeah, like people perceive meditation as nothingness. I'm like, bro, people only taught it as like this calmness because y'all were stressed too much. <laughs> But we do stuff in those other dimensional states, right? And the thing is, when you do have these structures of ceremony and like journeys, I can help you train the focus of your consciousness towards that gunk, towards that original source blueprint energy, yeah? Okay, I do want to mention the reason why I do want people to go to their original source energies is that as someone who's like very flexible, malleable, shapeshifter, um, I do notice that some people are very not only just externally oriented, but are kind of exporting their power and authority to like, yeah, divine beings, but still not you, right? So like you overly trust Archangel Michael or um, Mary, Jesus, or like your guides. Like you're pulling up your tarot cards for everything. And there's no, it's like you're lacking a connecting link that connects you to you. Okay? And the thing is, you are the supreme intelligence that knows what's best for you. So even if you're talking to all these other energies, I need your transmitter of you to be on, right? So even if you have a visa to another country, the first ID picture is you from your original birthplace, right? Yeah, you can't just have a passport of like visas to everywhere, but you came from nowhere. You see what I mean? So if you're, for example, you're you're transmitting an point A to point B. If A is missing, you focusing on B means B doesn't doesn't even know where it's going. Yeah? So the reason why I'm emphasizing you going back to your original source energy is because that's always going to be your starting point to anything. Yeah? Yeah? So I want you to, if you're ever going to try anything, always do that first. Incinerator, again, as I explained a while ago, death is very underrated. People don't really know how to touch it. And thus, if you noticed when we did it, different, right? The texture is a little bit different. I'm very sympathetic to the folks (laughs) who have never really like journeyed with me (laughs) or haven't journeyed with me recently (laughs) and are like, oh my God, that was a lot. (laughs) And and it's like, okay, so it's just reps, dear, okay? It's just reps. So if that was, if you're passing out, if you're falling asleep, if it's like, oh, crap, that's like a lot, I can't handle it, right? Okay, okay, work your way up. Yeah. Not everybody lifts 100 kilograms in their first day in the gym. Yeah. So my thing is that if you're passing out, falling asleep, usually you're just wanting a deeper state of restfulness. And then your subliminal subconscious realm is actually listening to my voice and listening to the journey and is already receiving. So trust that you are receiving. 
but it also means that you don't have um like your like your handle grip to your consciousness as you are awake might not be so strong right and that's like a muscle group we're trying to develop okay so if you do want to practice not falling asleep maybe try to listen to this meditation again but with your eyes lightly open so it's like slightly off focus and it's like very restful but you're still observing the physical environment yeah so that's legal you can do that i usually keep my eyes open if i feel like people don't have strong grounding protocols so it's almost like i'm doing like a dual awareness thing so but that's like a different topic i'm just saying it's valid it's legal the next thing is that so if you're trying to work up your capacity to hold that energy so you're trying to get your weights up like 10 20 30 50 60 okay here's the thing i do want to say that a lot of people have different kinds of powers Right? Okay? Like, some people are a mage class, some people are a thief class, or a knight class, or a... Oh, I'm using RPG terms again. What I'm trying to say is that some people have different... Like, on an energetic blueprint, have different strengths. So some people have really strong warrior archetypes, or maybe in their path, they're very... uh strong mother archetype right so what i'm trying to say is that if you're having a hard time upping the rep try to come from like an archetype or an energy that you're really good at as like a blasting off point or as like a hmm as like an angle yeah because i do want to say that as much as I do my best to make my the energy forms I'm making to be as general as possible, they still are designed by me. Yeah? So what I'm trying to say is that if you're having a hard time reaching the end point of myself, what if, like my own energies, right? Or where I'm trying to get you at? What if that's not your goal? That's one. Two, I want you to kind of just mirror that intensity and then maybe it's okay if you're not exactly on my lane i don't know if i'm being too vague (laughs) okay so okay Hmm, hmm. basically it's like you know how like when you're watching a chef make their own like for example pasta or steak and then you're inspired by it and then you do your own version with your own version of spices and like resources right right so this is like my energetic journey version right and i want you to trust what resources you have like maybe you have chicken maybe you have a different kind of pasta maybe you have a different angle slash guides visualization but it is inspired and ricocheting slash vibing with what i just did yeah that's also also super valid like i am such a fan of that I full permission I do want you to fully do that. I want you to feel fully enabled to tap into and listen to your own wisdom. Okay? Yeah. So if things are not if you're fa- so if you're falling asleep and if things are not aligning, trust your process. <laughs> trust your own wisdom and your process. Yeah? And really trust that a lot of these energetic transmissions sometimes they're easier okay the words help communicate via sound the energy where i'm coming from right but it's also a source of confusion because sometimes our mental constructs fuck us up yeah so really trust that energy understands energy yeah and then don't to don't be too obsessed with like needing to mentally decouple or understand everything yeah it's like what the yogi said that (laughs) if you let go of the need to understand the process will be faster (laughs) so 
I know that's so frustrating for like a nerd like me. So I understand if people are like, I want to understand, but it's like, bro, that's that's why it's called a mystery school. So anyway, <laughs> okay, I need to stop joking. <laughs> I need to stop cracking jokes because I still promised like a last one. Okay, last one we're doing is heart activation with some shielding. Okay, all right. Again, find yourself in a comfortable position. Shut down everything externally, external senses within you. Inner eye opening. Go to the door that is in the center of your being. And really knock. Like see yourself knocking on the door of your heart. And enter the juiciest, most tender center of it. Almost like it's a pearl or like a fruit that's opening. Try to answer what kind of fruit it is. Is it like a rambutan? Is it like a mango? Is it a dragon fruit? Or is it more of like a shell? And it has this juicy part inside of it. And then this stubborn but beautiful pearl. What is it? What is, what is the most inner part recesses of your heart look like? And if you feel your physical chest expand and kind of break open trying to help you feel into that heart space just allow yourself to like open up that way and then just go in almost like your you know how you stick your finger in like really tight places trying to reach for something so feel yourself almost like trying to really reach for your heart center like the center of centers, the sources of source, like the original place and palace of your heart. I want you to dig. I want you to knock. I want you to bow. I want you to kiss it open, almost like begging for a lover to yield to you. Or maybe you're begging someone you love to speak to you as you open more doors and doors and doors into your own heart. And you find yourself in the center that you find. Just feel yourself really, really small, fully encased into that little room palace of your own heart. Allow your whole body cells signature to change and bathe in this heart frequency. Is it a light pink texture? Is it a gentle breeze? Is it a cool air of a warm summer night? Is it tender pillows, tender faces, tender memories? Tender things that make you feel weak, vulnerable, but also strong, open, wider, like you could believe in something again, like the taste of the center of starlight, like really go into that heart space and really almost like you're eating, like you're eating these memories slash these fibrous things that are the fiber of what your love really feels right and i want you to feel its juice feel how it succumbs to your fingers pressing into it i want you to feel your teeth gnashing and swallowing this juice this soma into yourselves What does it feel to be rendered open like this demolished fruit? What if you received all of that frequency at a 10, 15, 20, like more of that yumminess, more of that... 
impart wisdom into every cell dimension version of your body. Yes? 30, 35, 36. Almost like you're in perfect bed. Everything's like perfectly organized. 40, 45. You're perfectly held. Every energy that's ever really held you in every dimension of life, reaching for you, helping you, putting you together. 45, 47, 50, knowing you, loving you. More than yourself, as yourself. 60, 65, 67, 68, 80. If there's like a position or an image or a greenery or a memory or like a time frame, time line slash group of images that really inform you of your own heart love and just allow it to stream gently in front of your face. Only if it feels right. 95. 9900. And almost like a slow bake slash slow to give permission for your all of your systems to be always bathed in this potent and original heart frequency. And when you're ready, I want you to walk out that door, that palace heart door, and visualize yourself as your physical body. And I want you to tune into the love that seeks to protect you, that wants you to be okay, that wants you to be safe that wants to guard you, that wants to guide you. And you can almost feel it like little paper tiles, invisible crystalline diamond tiles radiating maybe from your fingers or maybe in front of your heart and stitching in front of you a hand's width, a quarter of a hand's width, maybe even like a whole arm if you like and just feel it array around you basket weaving in ultimate thickness armadillo weave hardening and beautiful intelligence I allow love to protect me Across 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 versions, dimensions, lifetimes. And you could sit in this energy as long as you want. But when you are ready, turn around and see gentle steps, 10 of them that bring you back to your linear self with complete trust that you will integrate everything and anything that you have seen that you can further explore when you have time again. One, two, bring all of it with you. Complete trust, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Hello, hello, okay, you could gently like wiggle your fingers, your butt, your your legs, make sure to drink water. For some folks, they really like, they need to nibble on food, so you could do that. And yeah, welcome back. <laughs> and yeah, do you see how like tender the center of the heart is? <laughs> it's really powerful, but it's also really soft. Um... I bet y'all will have different versions of that. 
and it's really one of those palace places. When I say palace, meaning it's like it has thrown royalty energies slash something you can sit in energies that is just so solid for a lot of folks. And I do want you to like really explore being held by that encasing. You know how like a seed is held by its fruit? Yeah, so you're like a little seed. <laughs> you're held by the fruit of your own heart being. Yeah? So if you're needing to, especially if you're needing to feel like cradled, if you want to visualize yourself really small, it's like a really good spot. And the shielding, I know that that's not the focus of this episode, so you can just feel how the frequency texture is a little different. Right? It's very... I gave one that's very transparent, but it's also very knitted. Yeah, it's very strong regardless. So I hope in this episode you really noticed how when we journey and meditate and like really invoke energies, y'all can tell they were different, right? (laughs) Y'all could tell they were different. So I really wanted to model the different ranges and then different potencies. For people who want to explore other energies, you could do something as simple as, oh, I want to rest in Divine Mother, or even like, oh, meditate on the energy of the moon, energy of Mars, energy of Pluto, right? Saturn. Or you could do one of the archangels, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that I do want you to try different things and really lean into what you are like, wow, this is the nutrient I need. Like really lean into the nutrient that like best serves you, but but also be willing to up intensity, potency, and like wholeness because these are like other orders of wholeness. Yeah, like it's really a fractal. So allow yourself to have that. And yeah, so that's it for this episode. I highly recommend re-listening to this episode, revisiting these energies until you could really like get a hang of it. And yeah, that's it for this episode. See you till next time. If this was really helpful for you, I hope you recommend it to other folks. Share it. And also, if you have a specific image or like a certain transition that you need help with do feel free to book me but otherwise ciao